everybody! Today we are going to go through the process of making sourdough bread. This is a long um, ferment sourdough bread, which basically will remove most of the um, gluten. So they'll, this will tend to be a lot friendlier um, to the people that are not able to process gluten very well. So we're gonna start um, with a ceramic bowl or glass. That'll be fine um, on top of our scale. We set it to zero, we add 725 grams of water, okay? And now I'm going to add my starter. I want 150 grams of it. Now, we want to make sure the starter floats. Um, as you can see, it is floating on the water, okay? And we're going to add 150 grams of that. whisk it make sure it all dissolves really good all right at this point we'll just set our scale back to zero and we will start adding our flowers we're gonna start with um, whole wheat flour uh, and we're gonna add 200 grams of that, okay? So let's see. Almost there, almost there. All right, 200, right in the money. So we'll go ahead and whisk that again. Make sure this solves pretty well. There are no clumps. our scale back to zero and we're going to start adding our um, king corn all-purpose flour we're going to start with 300 grams okay we'll dissolve that and then we'll add some more so let's see all right i am at 277 just missing a little bit And if at this point you see a couple clumps, it's not a big deal. We're going to um, mix it really good with our hands in just a minute, okay? Last but not least, we're gonna add 500 more grams of our um, ink corn all purpose flour. So. This is the part where we're gonna just mix it with um, our hands. It will definitely get a little sticky, so be ready to wash your hands after you're done with this part. Mm -hmm. 
and now I tend to do this process um, about once a week, sometimes every two weeks, if I still have um, a loaf in the freezer. And um, the kids love it. My husband, obviously. Uh, this is basically all the all the bread he eats. So, and the process is long, but it's kind of therapeutic. I don't I don't really mind it. If you guys are going to be making this bread, um, especially with the long fermentation, just make sure that it is um, a day that you are not going to be going to work or don't start the process too, too late, like at nine o'clock at night, because you will not be done um, for the next six hours or so. All right. So yeah, I learned that one the hard way. <laughs> the first time I made this, uh, this bread, I ended up going to bed, I think at two in the morning. So make sure that all the flour is incorporated. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna try to get as much as I can off my uh, fingers. And then we're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. Okay, we're gonna let it autolyze. So once we let it sit for 30 minutes, okay, we're going to put it back on our scale. All right, we'll set it to zero and we want to add 25 grams of your um, either Celtic salt or M salt or pink Himalayan salt, whichever one um, you guys normally use. sticky as it was originally because of the water okay so we just give it a few folds make sure the water is fully integrated and then we're gonna let it sit for another 30 minutes It's all a waiting game. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna wet our hand very lightly, otherwise it will stick to it pretty good. And now we're gonna do our stretch and fold, okay? We're gonna do one, two, three, and I'm gonna do like five or six, four, five, six. And we cover it again. And we wait 30 more minutes. As we are back for fold, stretch and fold number two. So this is gonna be a series of four stretch and folds. We did the first one, this is the second one, and you wet your hand again. Um, this is actually where you will incorporate anything that you want to add to your bread. Um, like if you would like rosemary, you can add rosemary, you can add cinnamon, um, you can add cheese, make cheese bread. So the second fold is where you um, will actually add any of those ingredients, okay? And then we do our stretch and fold again. 
And guess what comes next? <laughs> yep. We cover it up and we wait 30 more minutes. All right, now we're ready for our third stretch and fold. Same thing as the other ones. We do not add anything. Right now, we stretch it, we fold it, we cover it, and we wait. 30 more minutes. Final stretch and fold. Put your hands. Now you guys understand why I said do not start this at 9 p.m. because, yeah, you would not be happy. All right, so we cover it up and we wait the final 30 minutes. All right, so for this part, I got the counter dusted. Make sure it's really nice and clean. And uh, we will be needing our little handy dandy bench scrape, okay? So we got our sourdough. I'm gonna wet my hand a little bit because this part is very sticky. <laughs> and then basically you're gonna be just getting it off the bowl let it drop onto the counter. Okay. And we are going to wet our bench scraper a little bit, otherwise it kind of sticks. So we're gonna break it into two. Okay, and then we just cover it in, and guess what? We let it sit but this time for an hour, okay? Cover it. All right, now for the last part that we're actually going to do before we put it in the fridge, um, you guys are gonna need a couple broad forms, okay? These are baskets that have basically a, a lining and we're gonna sprinkle them with, uh, dust them with flour. Same thing with the other one, I have two. Okay. There is our babies. I'm gonna wet the bench knife again. And now for this part, basically, we're just gonna do a couple of uh, folds. Second one. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna wet my hand a little bit and we're gonna put them in the baskets basically um, upside down. It's one. We're gonna let them sit covered for one more hour and then we're gonna put them in the fridge for about um, 36 hours and that's it all right so after they have been sitting out for an hour I just put them in the fridge and cover them up um, now, if for some reason your fridge smells, if you have any other kind of foods in there, um, after 12 hours, you may want to put the sourdough in uh, plastic bags, like Ziplocs. If not, you can just leave it covered for 36 hours and call it a day. Um, and then in 36 hours or so, we will be baking it. Hey guys, so it has been 36 hours 
and I'm going to turn my sourdough upside down onto this floured um, parchment paper. Alright, and this is actually the fun part because now we can um, score the bread. We want to make somewhat of a big um, score, that's how the air gets out, and then you can do many little ones whatever design your heart desires. I'm just gonna keep it simple right now. All right. Okay, and then also at this point, I have had my um, Dutch oven inside the oven at 500, okay? So warm up your oven with your Dutch oven in it with a lid on. So I am going to get that out of the oven right now. Okay, be careful, it's extremely hot, okay? So we wanna put our bread in there. minutes covered at 500. And then we're gonna, after 20 minutes, we will lower the temperature and take off the lid. So it's been 18 minutes. My oven just beeped and I'm going to take the bread very carefully out of the pot. Try not to touch the pot, it is extremely hot. And I'm gonna let it rest for at least 30 minutes. Um, and then at this point, I'm gonna put the lid back on the pot and I'm gonna put it back in the oven at 500 so I can bake my second. So my Dutch oven is preheated. I already scored the second loaf. We're gonna put it back in and we're gonna repeat the same exact process with um, the second one. All right, so I just got the second loaf out of the um, oven, out of the Dutch oven. Um, and I'm just gonna let it sit there for at least 30 minutes and I'm gonna start slicing the second one. Um, this is the kind of bread knife that you want to use. You can use one like this, or you can use um, the the all the type of ones that, are, that don't have the wood all the way through. So just basically fold it, slice it, and then once it is cool all the way, um, since I'm not gonna be eating both loaves at the same time, I like to put one in the freezer and then I keep the second one in the fridge. I don't like keeping them out because they tend to get moldy um, after like the fourth day. So I just keep it in the fridge and uh, we just take out the slices as we need them and we toast them. And uh, they're delicious either way. So anyways, this is how you make sourdough bread. I hope you guys um, found this helpful and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.